Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Blanca. Good, Good evening. evening. Thank you very much for being here. Me ha costado conectarme, teacher. Yes, there's a there's a really bad connection because of the weather. Hay una mala conexión por el por el clima. A mí también me costó un poco conectarme. But thank you, thank you very much for being here. Give me just a second. Gracias por estar conectada. Thank you very much for your responsibility. No. So, um, Blanca. You're welcome. Good, good answer. Now that I have you here, do you have any question about yesterday's topic? Tiene algún tema, una, una, alguna pregunta del tema de ayer, de Pastor B? Eh, bueno, he estado estudiando parte del día, este, uh -huh. lo, la parte de los verbos y la parte de los auxiliares que nos ha dado. Y este, no, yo, yo la dificultad que tengo, teacher, le voy honesta, a veces me da pena decirlo, es de, de hablar. Como que en la escritura me va mejor, pero no sé, al, al momento de estar hablando se me olvida el vocabulario y otras cosas. Entonces he estado tratando este día de estar practicando, escuchando sus, los videos que nos ha mandado y algunos sitios, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero este no, no, no tengo así una duda a este momento. Ya estuve repasando incluso lo que es el, eh, el pasado del verbo vi. Okay. ¿Verdad? El uso del di que no tenía muy claro, ya lo, ya lo arreglé. Y este, con la clase de ayer, como no la recibí, sí escuché el video, pero siempre eh, hay, que, hay que repasar mucho los verbos. That is correct. Yep, you have to learn a lot of vocabulary. That's very important. Um, because of that, ya les, ya les voy a dar también este, más tips en cuanto a vocabulario. Ya, ya lo tengo, solo lo voy a subir creo que mañana para que ustedes puedan ver. Um, hello, Sunny. Hi. I think that most of the, most of the issues is that la mayoría de, los, de las situaciones blancas es que como usted dice, somos buenos escribiendo, pero cuando nos toca hablar, ahí pues ahí nos, nos trabamos un poquito. Sí, y eso viene tanto en nuestra confianza, obviamente es algo nuevo, ya no estamos... Y estamos aprendiendo. Es, es normal que hayan dudas, que haya, que haya también cierta timidez. Sí, teacher. Piense que como por mi trabajo yo he viajado, quizás como usted sabe, como en muchas partes del mundo. Uh -huh. Entonces, a veces hoy a nivel internacional ya están poniendo intérprete. Porque hay mucho desencuentro entre la forma de los idiomas. ¿verdad? Pero a mí me pasa de que cuando ya estoy allá en aquellos ambientes... Al principio estoy tímida, pero después como que voy soltándome. Uh -huh. No sé si son los ambientes de inglés los que hacen ayudar, ¿verdad? Yep, that helps. Eso ayuda mucho. It helps a lot. And like I said, little by little you start uh, believing in yourself. Empiezas a creer en ti y a, y a tener un poquito más de confianza en lo que haces. Sí. Así que that's very important, guys. Si nas, porque suele pasar. ¿Para qué te conectas? Mejor venite aquí, que la familia, que no sé qué. Así que, hello, Adonai. Así que, démonos paja, literalmente. Démonos paja solitos. I can do this, right? Okay. I'm not shy. Y acá, siempre positive mindset, una, una mentalidad positiva. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So, hello, Adonai. What's up? Hello, teacher. Good to have I'm you I'm sorry. Here. Nah, don't worry, don't worry. So, let's get it started, guys. As you know, I always kind of do a review. Siempre trato de hacer un pequeño review de la clase anterior. Uh, yesterday's topic, past of B. Remember that class? Yep. Right. Yes. Good. So, who can tell me what the past of B is? What is the past of B? Past was B. and where. Was and where, was exactly. And where. Was and where. Now, so we have past of B. Was and where. Now, when do we use was? Uh, aim and is. I, uh huh. Uh, a, I, uh -huh. and is, and is. He, she, and it. Mm -hmm. He, she, is. and it. Correct. <laughs> and when do we use where? Uh, we. Uh huh. We is one. They. They is the other one. They. Uh, you. You exactly. 
So we're going to be using you, we, and they. Now, remember, this is estaba, estaban, estuvimos, all right? Es el pasado del verbo ser, estar, parecer, okay? Now, when do we use this? In the past or in the future? In the past. In the past, that's past. right. Who remembers the structure? What is the structure for affirmative? Uh, subject. Uh-huh. Um, verb to be in past. Uh-huh. And complement. Exactly. Compliment. Nice. Could you please give me some example? Some examples? Mm, yeah. I was sad. Okay, yo estaba triste. Eh, mm -hmm. Were you in were you no? I I eh, I was eh, mm -hmm. diner. Ah, okay, good, good. In this one, that's a good one, Blanca. Eso sería el pasado continuo. Ah, ok. Entonces, okay. acá, les comento, el was y el where está actuando como el verbo. Entonces, ya no, ya no metemos otro verbo. Porque okay. si metiéramos otro verbo, es otra estructura. Entonces, acá, um, generalmente, en el complemento, casi siempre ponemos, podemos poner lugares, podemos poner um, sentimientos. Uh, Penalidades, etc. So I was married. I was the beach. The beach. Uh -huh, I was. I was on the beach. At the beach, okay. correct. I was. We the beach. When when you use at and in. Okay, good. At and in generalmente son intercambiables. Okay. Normalmente ocupamos in en un lugar que está como con cuatro paredes, vea, no cerrado. Generalmente. Mm. Y a veces podemos, I am, I'm in the park and I'm at the park. At generalmente se puede ocupar cuando estamos en un lugar que no es una enclosed location. Oh, o sea, okay. Como que no tiene tanta pared. Vea. I'm at the park, I'm at the beach. Pero también podemos, hey, um, I'm in the restaurant. Okay. Estoy, uh -huh. Y hacemos énfasis que estamos adentro del restaurante. Puede ser como, como en un lugar específico y el otro es como que más general. Casi. Más o menos. Like I said, este tema sí hay que tocarlo muy, muy, muy a detalle porque es algo especial. Las preposiciones son algo especiales. Por ejemplo, sí. quiero ver, I'm in a restaurant. Estoy en un restaurante. Aquí estoy haciendo énfasis que estoy adentro. Yeah, de cuatro paredes. But you can say, I'm at the restaurant. I'm at the restaurant. Es que estoy en el restaurante, pero hace énfasis que está en el lugar, no necesariamente dentro. Mm. Puede estar haciendo fila afuera, digamos. Puede estar haciendo fila, puede estar en el parqueo, pero es como más de lugar, de que estás en un lugar, no dentro del lugar. Mm. So, generalmente... Okay se pueden ocupar intercambiables en muchas situaciones, pero son cositas específicas. Así que okay. podemos poner in versus at, pero eso es con lugar nada más, porque también la uh -huh. tenemos de tiempo. All right? Uh, so okay, I, thank you. I really hope that I kind of have answered your question. Yeah, yeah. Good. What about the negative, guys? Before we start with today's topic. Negative. What is the structure? Subject plus? Mm. Hello, Subject, Tatiana. Plus, was, were, and not. Uh -huh. Plus, so, complement. Wasn't or weren't. weren't. Plus, complement. Good. So, how do you say, yo no estaba triste? Okay. How do you say uh, that? You, we, ya um, los tenemos. Ahora vamos a convertir las oraciones anteriores que están en el chat. Acuérdense. Sí. Las oraciones anteriores las vamos a pasar de afirmativo a negativo. I was okay. sad. Estaba triste. I was. I was. And how do you say I you no estaba know. triste? Okay. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't sad. Exactly. I wasn't sad. Okay. I was married in affirmative. Say it in negative. I wasn't married. 
I was married. Correct. I was I, at the I, beach. Dígame eso en negativa. I was not happy. I wasn't at the beach. I wasn't in the beach. At the beach. Exactly. Okay. Good. So, como pueden ver, lo que cambia, guys, I was sad, I wasn't sad. I was married, I wasn't married. So, la estructura es lo mismo, solo que en el was, le metemos el not. Uh -huh. Okay, that, that's pretty much the only difference. Now, what about the question? What is the structure of the question? Was and where? Aha, uh -huh, was and where? Plus subject. Mm -hmm. Y plus the complement. Plus the complement and the question mark, that's right. Estaba yo triste? Was I, was I sad? Aha, uh -huh. was I sad? Good job. Estaba yo casado? Digamos que fue bueno el cumpleaños o la fiesta, ya no se acuerda. Okay. <laughs> ¿Estaba yo casado? Was I, was I married? Was I married? Correct. Was I was, married? Was I single? Ajá, también. Ese, ese es otro. Ya lo voy a poner para, para terminar con los ejemplos que tenemos. Um, ¿Estaba yo en la playa? Was I at the was beach? I, was I at the, the beach? beach. At the beach. At the beach, right. Was I single? Blanca's example. ¿Estaba yo soltero? Al parecer no estuvo tan buena la fiesta. All right. <laughs> Good. So this is pretty much the structure, guys, that, that we were working with yesterday. Okay? Now, consejo que les doy es que si ustedes tienen acá, por ejemplo, I was sad, pásenlo a he was sad. She was sad. It was sad. Digamos que tenía un chichito que está triste por, por la tormenta. We were sad. Okay, so con la misma estructura vayan cambiándole primero el sujeto. Okay, vayan cambiándole el sujeto. Luego esas mismas, pasen las negativas para que ustedes puedan ver la diferencia. Okay, una vez ya hayan cambiado el sujeto, ustedes pueden cambiar el complemento. I was sad. I was happy. Y busquen ese tipo de vocabulario, tanto de emociones, happy, sad, frustrated, upset. Entonces ustedes lo van mecanizando. Okay? I was happy, I was sad, I was frustrated. Y luego pasan, he was happy, he was sad, he was frustrated. Aquí es el momento que ustedes tienen que mecanizar. Y lo van a repetir tanto que la estructura se les va a ir quedando sin siquiera pensar en la estructura. ¿Es that clear? ¿Estamos con eso? Yes. yes. All right, very good. So, today's topic is a little bit different than yesterday. On today's topic, we're going to be working with there is and there are. So, go ahead and read, repeat after me, please. In this session, in this session, in this session, in this session, in this session Participants will listen to a conversation. Participants, participants will listen, will listen to, a to a conversation between neighbors. Between neighbors, neighbors asking about places in town. Asking, asking about, about places, places in town. town. Pay attention to there is. Pay attention to there is. There are. There are. There are. There are one. Any and some. One, any, One, any, any and, and some. some. Good. Now, mm. please let me finish. In oh. this session, participants will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Go, please. Okay. In, in, in this session, in this session a participant participants will listen will to a conversation, conversation between, between neighbors, neighbors asking about places in, place in town. In town. Uh -huh. Pay attention, Pay attention and there, there is, is, there are, one, there are one, one, any, and one, some. Any. any and some. That's right. Now I need a volunteer to read it all, please. Me. Go ahead. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation 
between neighbors asking about place in town. Pay attention to their is, they are, one, any, and some. Good, good job, good job. Ahí vamos, good job, Tatiana. So, today, en esta clase, escucharán una conversación entre vecinos preguntando de lugares y vamos a poner especial atención con el hay, unos, ¿verdad? algunos, algo. Now, this one is really quick. So, let's go ahead and mute our microphones and listen to the conversation. Pay attention to the vibration of there, there, there is, there are. Can you hear? Uh, no. No. Ah, okay. Then, then I thought no. that it was me. Yeah, no. Let me know. Let me know. Si alguien no puede escuchar, déjemelo saber. Give me a second. Muchas veces que le veía cara extraña, entonces give me a second. <laughs> Welcome everybody to section 8. What's your neighborhood like? As we always do, we listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? All right, guys. So this one, I'm going to need your help by practicing real quick, okay? Here. Okay. So repeat after me, please. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse, Excuse me. me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I'm I your new neighbor, neighbor Jack. Jack. Neighbor Jack. Jack. I just moved in. I just, I moved, just moved, in. moved in. Good. Come on. I necesito todos moviendo los labios, por lo menos fue no mí me cagame. So, <laughs> excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Excuse me, I'm your neighbor, neighbor Jack. Neighbor. I just moved in. I just moved in. I just moved in. Me acabo de mudar. I just moved in. Lo linkeamos. Moved in. I just in. moved in. I just moved in. Moved okay. in. Sonny, help me, please. Excuse me. I'm um. You're. New. <laughs> I'm sorry. No I'm worry. not wearing glasses. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Moved in. Moved in. Moved in. Good. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Esa no la vamos a decir. So, ah, sí. Okay. I'm looking for a grocery store. I'm looking, I'm looking for, for a grocery, grocery store. store. Are there any around here? Are there, are there, are there any, any around any here? here? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? I'm looking, I'm looking for, for a, a grocery, grocery store. store. Are store. there any around here? Are there any around here? Good. Adonai, help me, please. Okay. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Good. Very good. Estoy buscando por una tienda. Una grocery store es la tienda que casi todos tenemos enfrente o en la calle. A la tiendita. ¿Hay alguna en los alrededores o cerca, around here? Now, I need a volunteer to say that. Oh, you already said, sorry. Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Yes, yes there, there, are, are there are some on Pine, Pine Street. Street. See, hay algunas in Pine Street. Um, help me, please, Omar. Yes, there are some on Pine Street. 
Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Good. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Oh, oh good. 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 And, and is there, there, is there a laundromat near here? Esto lo pegamos. Is there a laundromat a, near here? A laundromat, a laundromat is there a laundromat near here? here? Is there a laundromat near here? Good, very good. Um, Tatiana, help me. Hi. Um, oh, good. Uh, and is there a... No. Ajá, acá. Laundromat, ese tiene tres sílabas. Laundromat, near here, near here, y lo pegamos. Near here. Laundromat, ok. Oh, good. And, ay. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Good job, good job, good job, good job. Fantastic. So, no importa cuánto miedo tengan, guys. Muy bien hecho. Um, siempre que tratar. Así es que lo logramos. Good job, girl. Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Well, well I, think I think there's one across, there's one across, across from, from, the from, the from the shopping center. Sí, creo que hay uno al cruzar el shopping center, que son como los de aquí. Igualitos. Lino, help me with this one, please. Okay. Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. Good job. Like it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Here. So Thank look at you. my, I don't know if you see me, but here. Hey. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank By you. the way. Thank you. By Thank the way. You. There's a barber shop in the shopping center too. Well, there's a barber shop in the shopping, shopping, center, shopping center, center too. too. Now everything again. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. By the, By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. Good, thank you. Blanca, help me please. Be, be the way. There's bye. a... Como bye bye, adios. By the oh, way. By the way. Mm -hmm. There's a barber shop in the shopping center too. Good job. A barber shop? A barber, a barber shop? shop? Fantastic. A barber shop in the so, shopping center This one, guys. Disculpe, soy su nuevo vecino, Jack. Me acabo de mover. Oh, sí. Estoy buscando una tienda. ¿Hay alguna en los alrededores? O oh, cerca, around here. Sí, hay una en la calle Pine. Oh, bien. ¿Y hay algún laundromat eh, cercano? Laundromat es donde ustedes van y echan moneditas para lavar su ropa. Una lavandería. Como una lavandería, ajá, pero... No, no con las bolas de jabón, ¿verdad? sino que hay las máquinas, usted mete su par de coritas o dólares y está esperando que le salgan, como en las películas. Laundromat. Bien, creo que hay una al cruzar el shopping center. Gracias. Por cierto, how do you say por cierto? By the way. By the way. By the way. Hay una barbería en el shopping center también. Ok, como que le está tirando ahí en directa por andar peludo el muchacho. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So, what do you think is the meaning of there is and there are? ¿Cuál creen que es el significado de there is y there are? There is. There are. Hay singular y there are plural. Exact. Es prácticamente el hay, pero no que algo les duele, sino que hay algo. So, read it with me, please, real quick. In this session, participants will learn about how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, any, some. Go. In this session, participants will learn about how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, there are, some. One, any, some. Some, good. So, vamos a aprender cómo hacer preguntas con hay, un, algún y unos. Right. Let's get it done. Again, microphones on mute. Let's watch the video.
Hi everyone, welcome back to another session. This time we'll learn to ask if there is or not a particular place in town. We'll go over prepositions of place which will help us give directions. In this session, participants will learn how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, any, and some. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions On Next to Near Close to Across from Opposite In front of In back of Behind Between on the curve. If you want to know if there is a place near you, we do it by saying, is there a near here? Of course, the answer will depend on if there is or not. You may answer yes there is, or no there isn't. If your answer is yes there is, you may continue by saying, yes there is, there's one next to the gas station. Prepositions of place. Let's go over the prepositions by looking at the map. The post office is on Main Street. The gas station is next to the public library. The shopping center is close or near the public library. The telephone booth is across from the gas station. The plaza is in front of the post office. The electronics store is behind or at the back of the post office. The plaza is between First National Bank and the grocery store. The gas station is on the corner of First Avenue. Make sure you practice and understand each preposition of place. All right, guys. So as we were talking about prepositions previously, we're going to be using a few today. Now, first... That's from the shopping center. No, there isn't. But there's one next to the library. No, shut up. Are there any? Okay, there it is. So, this is what we're going to do right now. Esto es lo que vamos a hacer. First, I just want you to get used to this. Is there? Say it with me. Is there? Is there? Is there? Is there? Good. On the chat, I wanted to keep an eye on the chat. It's going to be your machete. Is there, is there, is there a restaurant in near your house? Say with me, please. Is there a restaurant near your house? Is there a restaurant, is there a near, restaurant your house? near your house? Near your house. Near your house. Near your house. Near your house. All right. So we're going to keep it here. Is there... Is there? Is there? Is there? Give me a second. My total is loading. My tortuga está cargando. Here, a little bit bigger. We're gonna get it to sixteen, so you can see. It. Okay. So we're gonna have is there? The name of the place. Y vamos a poner near your house. Tu casa. So here we can say, is there a restaurant near your house? Hay un restaurante cerca de tu casa? Repeat it with me, please. Is there a restaurant near your house? Is there, is there a, a restaurant, restaurant near, near your house? house? Near your uh -huh. house? Near your house. Hay un restaurante cerca de tu casa? So the answer is going to be, yes, it yes. is. Yes, yes it is. Or, no. No. No, it no. isn't. It isn't. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Just a short answer. E yes. Right now, yes. After okay. we cover prepositions, bounce. 
Long answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, no es yes, there is. Yes, that's right. That's right. You are totally right. So I'm afraid. Okay, it's good. I was thinking of the next move. Estaba pensando en la siguiente movida. So, is there a restaurant near your house? Yes, there is. No, it isn't. Here you can say the name of the places and uh, ask questions. For example, siempre que los agarro de ejemplos, guys, voy en orden de la foto que tengo. Ahorita está Tatiana, Omar, Sunny. Luego Blanca, Lino y Adonai, y eso va cambiando. Así que no piensen que es personal. Tatiana, how do you say hay algún pollo campero cerca de tu casa? Is there pollo campero near your house? Good, good question. Now a little bit more fluent. Is there a pollo? Is there or a? Ah, is there a pollo campero near your house? I repeat. Is there a pollo campero near your house? Trata de sonar más fluida. Is there a pollo campero? Uh -huh. Is there a pollo campero near your house? Oh, yes, there is. There's one. Good, fantastic. Uh, Omar, how do you say, aquí viene el vocabulary, guys. Vocabulary. So, we already got restaurants. ¿Qué otros lugares hay cerca de su casa? Um, market. Ah, oh, ok. Good. Restaurant, supermarket. Bakery. Bakery. What else? Panadería es bakery. Yes. Mm -hmm. The grocery stores. Grocery store. Uh -huh. Bank. A bank. A park. Park. Nice. Park. Market, uh -huh. bus station, pharmacy, or you can actually say um, drugstore. Bookstore. Mm -hmm. Drugstore. No es que vendan drogas. Bueno, son drogas, vea, pero las legales. Yeah. <laughs> Gas station. Gas station. Good. Bus station. Shoe store. Bus station. Shoe store. Librería. Library. Library. Bookstore. O oh, también bookstore. Library, no es biblioteca. Eh, ¿Cómo no? ¿Cómo no? Library, biblioteca. Pero también se puede decir como librería. Bookstore okay. es literalmente school. donde venden libros. School. School, ajá. University. University. Church. Ah, church. Church. Good. Creo que en vocabulario está bueno. Si hay alguno de estos que no se lo pueden, pues. Practice makes hardware perfect. store. Hardware store. Good. Hardware store. Va ferretería, a ser es cierto. Ferretería. Exactly. Va a ser una ferretería. So, guys, this is what I need you to do. Um, Adonai, your turn. How do you say, ¿hay alguna escuela cerca de tu casa? Ok. Eh... Is there a school near your house? Good. Omar, contestele. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Good. Fantastic. Now, Omar, hágale una pregunta con cualquiera de esas, ocupando la estructura a Blanca. Okay, Blanca. Is there bakery near your house? A bakery. A bakery. Excuse me, how do you say bakery? Oh, In the many. Panadería. Panadería. Ah, ok. El Rosario. Uh -huh. <laughs> El Bambán. La de yes, Clemens. There is. <laughs> yes, there is a, a bakery a El Rosario. Ok, good, good, good. It's El Rosario. Fantastic. Now, Blanca, ask Lino. Quick, quick, super quick. Okay. Uh, is there a, a gas station mm -hmm. uh, near your house? Good. Y 
Yes, there is. Good, eh, fantastic. Hasta ahí, ahorita hasta ahí. Ya viene lo bonito. Lino, ask Sunny, please. Okay. Sunny. Is, is there a... Is there a restaurant near your house? Oh, no, there is not. There isn't. Uh -huh. Generalmente, aquí casi siempre se contrae. Se contrae, ok. Generalmente, no, there isn't. No es que esté mal, pero no okay. es muy común, la verdad. Good. Now, Sonny, ask the first one on the list. Let me see. Ask Tatiana. Ok. Um... Tatiana, is there a bus station near, near your house? Uh, yes, there is. Okay, fantastic. So, guys, aquí vamos a ocupar yes, there is para singular. Okay? Yes, there okay. isn't. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Punto. There is. Hay uno. And when we use are there any, we're going to use it here. We can always use the same vocabulary or the names. Are there any, en el espacio, en plural, around here? No les estoy poniendo near here. Near here es cerca de aquí. ¿verdad? Pero como no estamos en el mismo lugar, no nos lo podemos preguntar así. Cerca de aquí, vamos a decir aquí. ¿Dónde es aquí? Aquí no es dónde. Y nos vamos a enchular. So, around here, también alrededor. Entonces, vamos a poner near your house. Or near your, near your, um, near your job. Cerca de tu trabajo. Okay. Si no trabajan, near your school. Ya, si no trabajan y van a la escuela, near your house. La cosa es que no se queden sin hablar. So, we're going to use, are there any? El any es como alguno. Ok. So, hay un restaurante cerca de tu casa. Estamos ocupando lo singular, vea. Y aquí hay algún o algunos restaurantes. Ok. Good. So, are there any churches near your job hay hay algunas iglesias cerca de tu casa y siempre le ponemos el any aquí porque ya no estamos hablando de una en particular sino de más en general so the answer is going to be yes there are o sería no there aren't good Siempre con el primero, Adonai. Tell me, tell me. Sorry. Bueno, poniéndole mute, ya lo vi. Are there any... <laughs> Sorry. Are there any restaurants no. near your house? Uh, no, there aren't. Good. Now you ask Tatiana. Okay, uh, Tatiana. Are there any bookstore near your job bookstores in plural bookstores so uh -huh. no they are aren't that's good tati ask sunny okay uh, sunny um, are there any um, un, un university near your job universities Universities? Uh -huh. No, they aren't. No, they aren't. Uh -huh. Good. Now, Sonny, don't worry about it. That practice makes perfect. <laughs> Sonny, ask Blanca, please. Uh, Blanca, are there any bus stations near your job? Mm -hmm. um, yes, there, there are. Good. Blanca, ask Lino, please. Okay, are there, are there any uh, library near your school? Libraries. Libraries. Uh -huh. uh, near your school? 
Uh, yes, there are. Fantastic. All right, and uh, Omar, ask me, please. Okay. Teacher, are there any bakeries near your house? Yes, there are. Okay. There is one on Boulevard Constitución, and there is another one in front of, no, next to a Neveria is El Rosario. All right, okay. so, como pueden ver, yo ya cambié de la si sí hay, no hay, a dar un poquito más de información. All right, and that's exactly what we're going to do here. Remember, guys, singular noun. Vamos a ocupar con is there. ¿Lo ocupamos con plural o singular? Eh, singular. Singular, very good. Y si tenemos are there, plural o singular? Plural. plural. Exacto, aquí se los voy a poner. Este documento se los voy a mandar y si no se los mando después de las 10, por favor acuérdenme para yo por eso los mandar. All right. Ok. Good. Ok. Voy a tratar de estarles mandando esto en vez de... Para que ustedes se queden con los ejemplos que creamos. All right, good. Now, what we're going to learn right now is how to use some prepositions of place. Ahorita vamos a aprender cómo ocupar un par de preposiciones de lugar. If we don't finish right now, we finish tomorrow. Don't worry. Pero que terminamos, terminamos. So, let's get it done here. So, say with me, please. On. 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 Now, On. Here, you're going to say the name of the street. Okay? So, no lo pueden ver. Bueno, ¿saben qué? Give me a second. I'm going to make it easier here on, near, next to, then we have near, close to, across from, opposite, in front of, in back of, Behind, right between, on the corner of, okay. All right, so I'm going to change to the Word document so you can keep it a little bit easier here. Here it is. Now, on, guys, we're going to use it with the names of the street. Okay, so how do you say en el Boulevard Constitución? On Boulevard Constitución. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's up to you if you want to change the name on Constitution Boulevard. If you want, but I would recommend you because it's a proper noun to keep it as it is. Yo les aconsejo dejarlo como es. On Boulevard Constitución. All right, good. So, how do you say en la primera calle? En la primera avenida? On the on first avenue. First on the ab first avenue. Uh -huh. On first avenue. That's right. So, en la primera avenida. So, we're going to use on with the names of the streets. All right? ¿Cuándo ocupamos on? Siguiente. Con el nombre de las calles. Okay? Nombres de calles. Tenemos nombres de calles. Good. Next two. Say with me, please. Next two. Next two. Next two. What is the meaning of next, next two? two? A la par de. A la par de. Exactly. Next two. Say it again, please. Next two. Next, next two. Next, next two. two. That's right. Next one. Near. 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 Close to. Close to. Close to. Prácticamente ambos son para cerca. Y aquí hay que memorizárselo. Across from. Across from. Across from. Across from. Opposite. from. Opposite. 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 What do you think lado. is the meaning of this? Al lado opuesto. Ajá, al, al lado, lado opuesto. Frente de. Al lado. Um, no mm. literalmente al lado opuesto. O enfrente. 
en frente de al cruzar al la cruzar, calle, ¿sí? uh -huh. al cruzar tal lugar ¿Ya? ya les ya vamos a dar un par de ejemplos in front okay. of say with me please in front of in front of in front of uh -huh. este sí es en frente en frente en frente de uh -huh. en frente de good next one in the back in the back in the back uh -huh. in the back or in back in back Dentro del banco. In back. Atrás. De, detrás. No atrás. In back of. In back of. Or behind. 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 That's right. Behind. El más ocupado es el. Bueno, behind. no los. Los ambos ocupados. Ocupan. Uh -huh. Atrás de. Uh -huh. O detrás de. Next one. Between. Entre. Between. between. Exactly. Between. Mm -hmm. Now, este sería en medio. Uh -huh. right? Pero literalmente, si digamos que eh, aquí hay un, esta O es alguien, esta chiquitita es alguien más, aquí hay otro, esto es entre, como que sandwich. Right? Literalmente en medio de dos cosas. Porque luego tenemos among, por ejemplo, uh -huh. que esa no la vamos a ocupar ahorita, pero para que sepan, Among es que usted está entre un grupo de algo. Ahí anda jugando. Entre en medio de. Bichos. Siempre es en medio de, pero ya no es literal. Ahí anda en el grupo. ¿Ya? Y uh -huh. el otro no, es literalmente en medio de. Mi cara está en medio de mis manos. Ese es el between. Esto es literal, en medio de. ¿Ok? Entre mi casa y la tuya, ahí en medio. Among es entre, pero de una manera más desordenada es parte de un grupo. Next one on the corner. I have a question. Uh, give me a second. En la esquina de. En la esquina de tal y tal. Cuando se unen dos calles. Ok. Ya los vamos a ver. Go ahead, Sunny. Uh, behind. And I have a teacher at the university that can say. I can say that we can use behind or behind. It's correct. Yeah. Okay. Behind, behind. Potato, potato. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Cuando digo potato, potato, es que hay un gran debate. Si es potato, es potato, es cualquiera. En eso hay un montón de cosas que no hay problema. So, yeah, between, uh, behind, mm -hmm. behind. That's good. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So, how do you say, guys... Hay una, hay una ferretería a la par del supermarket, del supermercado. Ya les di una, pero bueno, anyway. Sorry. Ajá. There, there is. Is there. Okay. Hay una ferretería a la par del supermercado. There is a hardware store uh -huh. next to supermarket. Next to the supermarket or a supermarket? Si es un, un supermercado en particular del que estamos hablando, por ejemplo, mira, fíjate que hay una farmacia 1 a la par del Selectos, vamos a decir, de supermarket. Porque no vamos a andar buscando en todos los Selectos, anda en soya, fíjate que aquí no hay una farmacia 1, me voy a tecla. <risa> Tiene que ser de. Good. So, um, how do you say hay un, hay un restaurante de comida china a la par de... Mi casa. There, there is a, a Chinese restaurant. Uh, a Chinese restaurant. Chinese. Chinese food. Next to. Restaurant. Next to. My house. My next house. to my house. Correct. That's right. All right. Near, cerca. Denme un ejemplo ustedes y lo pasamos al inglés. We got only a few minutes. There is a... Mm -hmm. uh, How do you there say... Is a... Hay algunos supermercados... Cerca de Multiplaza. 
There are some supermarkets. Uh -huh. Near to Multiplaza. Near Multiplaza. Sí, no. Near. Exactly. Si nosotros ocupamos near, no le ponemos el to. Ok. Si nosotros ocupamos close, ay, se me fue una T aquí, sí puede llevar to. Good. Another example. Hay una iglesia cerca de... Cerca de otro lugar. How do you say that? There are churches. There's, lo pueden There. linkear. There's a church. There's a church. Near? Near, near to my house. Near my house. Near my house. Ajá. Near my house. Acordémonos que no lleva el to. Good. Across from, al otro lado. Traten de darme ejemplos personales de su casa, de su trabajo. Si quieren en español y nosotros lo cambiamos, ya sea en singular o plural. Um, there is a grocery store uh -huh. next to my house. There is a uh, mountain. There are a grocery mountain. store next uh, across from. from. Across from my house. Hay una tienda al cruzar mi casa. O sea, es prácticamente enfrente, pero hacemos énfasis en que hay que cruzar. Ok. Good. Next one, con R. Um, there's, there's, there, uh -huh. there are next to uh, Vamos con... Park. Across from no. or opposite? Ah, uh, across from. Me? Mm -hmm. There is a bar across the street. Good. My, from my house. Mm -hmm. Across my house. Bar. Sorry. A bar. Yeah, a bar. Ah, it's it's yeah. an example. <laughs> How convenient. Solo pasa feliz. You're happy. One. <laughs> ¿Cuál cuarentena? Next one, in front of, in front of it. There is a mountain in front of my house. Okay, good. There's a mountain, mountain. in front of my house. Muy bien, ahora cambiémosle my house. Next one. Un apellido, un apellido más. Un ejemplo más con there is. Um, there, there, there is a uh -huh. uh, store uh -huh. a store in front of my home. My, uh, my house. Job. Okay. My job. My job. Job. Bien. job. Good job, Blanca. Detrás de Démosle, que tenemos que terminar en cuatro minutos, que tengo clase a las nueve. Démosle, démosle, démosle. Uh -huh. There is a laundromat. There is a? Laundromat. Laundromat. Ajá. There is a laundromat. Um, in back of the, the mall. Muy bien, in back of the mall. Good example, girl. Next one, give me another one. Tratemos de meterle there are. Ya vi que estamos muy bien con there is. Metámosle there are. There are... Cyber. Uh, there are... Some... Cyber. Uh, cyber coffees. No okay. muy común, pero... Cyber coffees. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, in back of the school. Ok. okay. The school. Behind the school, pongámosle. Para cambiar, pero es lo mismo. Behind the school. So, podemos ocupar in back o podemos ocupar behind. Next one, between. There is a church between the mall. Between the mall and, and the, park. the park. And the park. Good. Significa que hay. Aquí está el, el, el centro comercial, aquí está la iglesia y aquí hay un parque. All right. Good. Good example. Next one, please. My work is between a pharmacy and a restaurant. Nice. Okay, good. 
And the next one, aquí se los voy a dar, por ejemplo, the restaurant, there, there is a, give me another Can be a bus station. Okay, good. There's a bus station on the corner of, y aquí vamos a meter dos cosas. First Avenue and uh, um, give me a second. There's a bus station on the corner of uh, Boulevard Los Héroes para que en español Los Héroes and uh, Calle Cicimiles or Cicimiles Street aquí pongámoslo. Cicimiles Street. Okay. There's a bus station on the corner of Boulevard Los Héroes and Cicimiles Street. So, aquí está. Justamente en este pedazo va a estar la parada de bus. Now, give me an example before we leave. Another one. There is a cathedral. A what? Cathedral. Cathedral, uh huh. There's a cathedral. Cathedral on the corner, on the corner of um, per, in the primera, in the second, the okay. first, first, and, and the third, third, third. Uh, street. Street. Good. Está bien. There's a cathedral on the corner of first and third street. Good job. So guys, this is going to be it for today. What I want you to do is, as a homework, I need you to use all of this. Necesito que ocupen estas preposiciones. Ya les voy a mandar este documento. Y me den por lo menos dos ejemplos con cada una. Igual como acabamos de hacer ahorita, pero lo vamos a poner en nuestra casa. Right? Cosas de nuestro hogar ocupando on y cosas así. Quiero ver qué se me hicieron ustedes. ¿Están viendo dónde lo voy a guardar? Sí. 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 Ah, pues. Adiós. Escritorio. Dex. <laughs> good. Good, good. I solo quería saber si eso se comparte. Alrighty, guys. So, I'm going to save it right now. I'm going to send it to you in a few minutes. Homework con todas esas preposiciones. Tienen que mandarme un ejemplo siempre poniendo su casa como um, como epicentro, referencia. como referencia. All right. So, guys, thank you very much. My name is Alejandro Narbona. On behalf of Inglés Corporativo, thank you for being here. Despite we have our president nationwide and also the rain. Thank you. Get out of here. Bye-bye. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. See you tomorrow.